in today's video what I'm going to do is show you how to use throttle stop um, to find the perfect undervolt for your particular laptop and your CPU but not only that let's say you got a very powerful 10th gen or 11th gen CPU that even if you apply undervolt your temperatures are still very high I'm going to show you some additional settings that you can do which will uh, further reduce the temperature on your laptop but before I even get to that what I'm going to say is if you haven't subbed to the channel just yet please go ahead smash that like button and please press the subscribe button because I can promise you one day when you're lying in your deathbed one thing that you definitely won't regret is subbing to my channel so please go ahead anyways guys um, before I get started um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some gameplay in fact I'm going to show you what my system looks like before I apply undervolt and then what it looks like once the undervolt has been applied as well as some gameplay with that undervolt applied um, it's going to be days gone uh, just to show you what uh, it looks like without undervolting so the way I've set up my laptop without the undervolt applied you can see I'm hovering on idle before I actually play the game when it's just in the game um, I'm yeah, in the 80 degrees so let me just put on undervolting okay so the throttle stops open and as you can see I've applied a, a minus 160 millivolts a minus 165 millivolts on the core and minus 25 uh, millivolts on my Intel GPU and minus 100 millivolts on my CPU cache Right, so now you'll see a big difference and as you can see it's dropped down by 20 degrees instantaneously that is the benefit of undervolting right, and then this just gives you an indication of what my temperatures look like in game so um, first and foremost days gone isn't the most demanding game but uh, generally these are my temperatures in every game and then also another thing to consider is I've got a R5 10200H so it's uh, more powerful than anything uh, previously in the 8th gen, 7th gen, 9th gen whether it's quad core um, or 6 or hexacore shell but it's still not the most uh, powerful 10th generation CPU so uh, if you got like a 10 750h obviously your temperatures will be a little bit higher so you're gonna have to do a little bit more tweaking in throttle stop but as you can see generally my temperatures are pretty damn good right so as you can see undervolting on laptop is a great way to keep it those temperatures low so um i wouldn't recommend using uh xtu um, i just find it's very limited in what you can actually apply to drop the temperatures on your laptop um, that's why i recommend throttle stop so what i'll do is in the description of the video i'll leave a link to this page uh, the latest version of throttle stop is 9.5 i just don't like the look and feel of it what i'm using is uh throttle stop 9.4 so go ahead and download that if you want the latest version do that as well um, and just quickly if you are unable to undervolt your laptop because you got a locked box happy days today i've got a video uh it's yeah, how to undervolt the dell g15 with a lock bios go ahead and watch that video you'll be able to unlock undervolting in just about any laptop i do have two view, um, uh, uh, viewers that actually have not managed to uh, unlock undervolting in particular a uh, viewer with the dell g3 uh, it's just we couldn't get it unlocked and then also a viewer with a Gigabyte Aorus 15 uh, XP, I believe the laptop is. But other than that, I'll just show you the comments. Other than that, I've had uh, viewers with Alienware, with various Dell G15s. I've done it uh, specifically on Asus. I've done it on Acer, Acer Nitro. I've done it on a, a litany of Lenovo laptops. Because I buy and sell laptops for a living. So I've constantly got new gaming laptops. And if I can't undervolt the, the, um, the laptop, what I do is I just go ahead and apply this method. And I'll unlock undervolting and I get those temperatures nice and low. So if you want to unlock undervolting, go ahead and watch this. How to undervolt the Dell G15 with a lock bars. Anyways, let's get to throttle stop. 
So once you've downloaded Trollstop, what you're going to do is you're going to open it up and then inside you're just going to extract the Trollstop.exe to the desktop. Once you've extracted the, uh, the .exe file, open up Trollstop and straight off the bat what you're going to do is you're going to untick BD Pro Shot, you're going to untick C1E. Why? Those are power saving features. We're looking to reduce the temperatures but we don't want any power saving features. So just go ahead and untick those. Once you've unticked those, uh, click turn on and then click save. And then from there what you're going to do is we're going to apply the undervolts. So what you're going to do is you're going to click into FRBR, that's where the magic happens. Boom. And once you're in here, what I want you to do, and I'm going to assume that uh, at this point you've already unlocked undervolting in your laptop. Um, so this is not going to be grayed out for you. What you're going to do is you're going to tick uh, unlock adjustable voltage, make sure there's a tick there. And then this is going to cause all these sliders to be blue. And now we're going to get to the fun business. So before you even go ahead and apply your undervolts, what you want to do is it starts off on OK, do not save voltages. Just tick on OK, save voltages immediately. Click apply, press OK. Right guys, so I did say that I'd show you some additional settings just in case you did apply your undervolts. But let's say you got an incredibly powerful laptop. So um, I, the first guy that actually used my that method that you unlock your undervolting, uh, he had an Alienware M15R6 and he applied the undervolt but it didn't really make much of a difference in terms of the temperatures on his laptop because obviously with a laptop you got a, a limited amount of of interior to your laptop so you got you can have massive big fans but if you got a CPU and a GPU that are are putting out immense amounts of heat because they are so powerful doesn't matter how powerful or how good your fans are that laptop is going to cook so even if you apply in the vault it drops the temperature slightly but it's not enough so if you're in that situation what you got to do is you got to turn by ratio limits and what he did is i think he had a i think it's a, a hexacore or octacore process i'm not 100 percent certain but what he did is instead of running it at the full amount, which I don't know what his case was, but for me it's 41, 41, 40, 40. So what you do is you just drop this slightly. So what he did is he set his to run at 36 um, or a value of 36 over all his cores. So then with the undervolt and limiting the turbo ratio limits, he got like a, a nice little reduction in temperatures and that is for people with incredibly powerful laptops where uh, undervolts doesn't drop the temperatures that much so limiting the, the ratio limits reduces temperatures further if you do happen to be one of those unlucky few where no matter what you do you just can't unlock undervolting on your laptop uh, the other option you can do is uh, just uh, adjusting the TPL. So you click into TPL and then you click on disable power limits control and then you slide the slider until you got a value of 56. And then in long power PL1, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set this to 40. And then short power PL2, you're gonna set this to 40 as well. And you're gonna hit apply, press okay, run the game, see if you're getting some part of uh, temperature reductions if not go ahead and adjust this figure to 35 and 35 click a plow press ok so you might get slightly less performance but you will get a reduction in temperatures right and then lastly if nothing works for you and you can't reduce those temperatures what you can do as a last ditch effort is just click on disable turbo this is going to drop this uh, this number over here to your base frequency of your CPU with our turbo enabled, and you might lose uh, probably about five to ten percent performance, but that should give you quite a nice reduction in temperatures. So it's all about the payoff. Like, do you want your laptop to overheat but then get the the best performance, or are you willing to sacrifice a little bit of performance to get that heat reduction? Yet again, as I said, that's a last ditch effort. Alright guys, that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and smash that like button. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you haven't subbed to the channel just yet, please go and maul, attack, like just de destroy that sub button. Look at those lame. Anyways, guys, have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day. As people like you, they make a difference. Cheers.